All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play and some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Door. So, as I stated before, we don't have too much longer with this series. Today, we're doing this uh, story right here, the grappling with a guardian. Next Saturday, we're doing a duel with darts. And then the Sunday after that, we're pretty much going to have a big, long video of me doing all the reverse duels, skipping the story, just doing, just playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And trying to 100% the Duel Monsters series on Legacy of Duels. And then it's going on break because Yu-Gi-Oh! Turn of Netflix Season 2 is coming back to the channel that weekend, Round 2. So look forward to it. Uh, as I said, I put up a video yesterday where we ran into a snag, but we got the snag resolved. And I said, some people, you guys thought League was over, some of the participants thought League was over, and it's like, it's not over. It's just, like I said, it's just very difficult to babysit and handle 16 people and my co-hosts who said they were going to help me co-host or not around. And, you know, it's, you know, I can keep on telling people, be like, hey, can you get that door done? Hey, can you get that door done? Hey, can you get that door done? But they don't get it done. And, you know, like I said, I don't like relying on others, but, you know, that's just kind of what League is. Me relying on others and producing content off of others, off of what they do, you know. So, it's not like I can just sit here and record during my own time on my recording, you know, with me. You know, I need their content to, I need them to produce content, and that's one of the things I don't like about League, but hopefully, you know, I got the majority of round uh, two, uh, we're getting started round three, so I at least want to be a month ahead, and then, you know, we hopefully we'll have to take this giant large break that we did uh, right now. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and hop right into it, so, uh, Legacy of the Duelist, you know, Grappling with the Guardian, like I said, I think I vaguely remember this, especially since this is where I believe the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Burst is at, where Yugi, lo well, the Pharaoh loses Yugi, loses his duel, lo loses Yugi's soul, and feels all guilt strippy about it, so, uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. Yugi and his friends found Joey, but it was too late. Joey's soul had been taken by the Orichalcos. What's going on? Don't you see? Joey must have defeated Valion, and then Mai showed up, and she did this to him. I'm sure of it. That's true. However, there's only one person we can really bring for all this, and I think you know who I mean. He hides safely in his fortress, while others do his dirty work. Well, not anymore. Yugi arrived at Dart's fortress. Paradise headquarters? Okay, and found an unconscious Mai. Mai, say something. You must have been in the duel, and it appears she lost. She must have been in a duel, and she appears she and it appears she lost both the duel and her soul. I must put an end to this. <coughs> oh my God, this freaking all this voice acting is just killing me. It's about time you showed up. This doesn't concern you, Raphael. I'm here to see darts. Is your master so much of a coward that he sent you to do his battle for him? Not quite. But first, why don't you take this? It's a card, Hermos, Joey's card. So you were the one who defeated. Joey, aren't you? Actually, Mai beat Joey. Then I defeated her. But why? Wasn't Mai on your side? I never trusted her, and it turned out I was right all along. And she took Joey's soul. She turned on us. Biggest mistake she ever made. Wake up! Can't you see that your so-called master dart is just using you to satisfy his own selfish needs? If you really want to save the world, then stop fighting me and join my side. As soon as the great beast is revived. I'm afraid your sight will no longer exist, Pharaoh. Oh, that's a pretty cool line. <laughs> and it needs to get started. Is one more soul strong. <coughs> one more strong soul. Oh my god. And it said, all these deep and gr gruffy voices is not my natural voice. I'm just losing my voice. Thank god that once I'm done with this, I'm done recording for this weekend. At least voice acting, anyway. <laughs> uh. And this sacred seal of Calcos will take care of that once I take you down. The winner leaves a free man, and the loser becomes a prisoner to the beats. You're on. If that's what it takes to set my friends free, then let's duel. And once you're out of my way, I can go straight for darts. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop right into this duel. If I, if I remember correctly, he, you know, the guardians and stuff like that. So, uh, hopefully this, at least this duel will be... Better than the freaking duel with Alistair and Kaiba yesterday. That was just pathetic, you know. Alistair just just sat there and just took it. So, you know, hopefully uh, this duel will go fine. Wow, I got two kings, and I, like I said, I believe this is uh, not the anime version. Wow, and he just summons off fucking Guardian Yados. Great, great, and I draw fucking Karibo. Like, like I don't even know what to do. Banish all cards in your hand. You control in your hand, one from one middle from each, and each until you draw two cards in your hand. Wow, 
Wow. So, definitely not the anime version. <sighs> like, this this opening hand, he just, he goes, Grateful Charity, bless out the Guardian Yados, like, what the fuck? And all I get is fucking King's Knight without a Queen's Knight or anything along those lines, even if I could summon Jack's Knight, you know? Fucking Curry Bandit and a fucking Kribo, like, great, great. So, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing right now. Yeah. Like, this, this opening hand is not the greatest. Like, I might actually lose this duel. Like, I'm hoping that maybe this is the anime version? No, it's not. It's not. Alright, it's not. I was like, maybe it's the anime version and I draw six cards. Like, no, it's not. So, uh, pfft, I have nothing. Like, great, great, great. <laughs> and I guess he put the Clara Hermos in, uh, in his deck. Yep. So he, he goes first turn, but has 25 to 3,000 beater. I'm sitting here fucking struggling to do anything. Great. Another King's Knight. Glad I drew all fucking three copies of King's Knight. Like, fuck. Um. Warrior type monster. So I, I guess it's the warrior one. I just try to system target one face of monster and fill equip it to this one. I was equip, negate the... The first effect activated by your phone battle during each battle phase, and the quit monster can make a second attack. Sure, that's awesome. That's that's great and all, but yeah, how does that help me? You know, like how 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 does that help me? It doesn't. <laughs> Shoot, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just playing just to play at this point. Like it doesn't matter. I opened up like shit. He opened up the tits. And now you can see, now you can see how fucking Yugi lost is doing, lost fucking, the Pharaoh lost is doing, lost Yugi, like, shit. Yep, I just go ahead and equip it to you, because it's mandatory, so now you can attack twice, and, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's in. Yeah, yep, yep, I opened up fucking multiple kings, not a single queen or jack, not even if it would have helped anyway, you know. Okay. Why did you do that? Sure. Yeah, and I can activate MST and pop his back row. Wow. Alright, alright. You know what? I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop fucking around. Yes, I wanna quit. Quit. Go back. Go back. Let's do again. Skip. Skip this. My like, god damn, like really? I opened up like shit. See, and then that's what's gonna be interesting about next Sunday's video is that like I said, I'm be doing the reverse duels. Hopefully, I win the majority of them. But I mean, like I said, you know, there's a lot more luck based. A lot more luck based. So hopefully, I can open up better. And this is decent. Now I got a whole bunch of queens knights with no king. Not that something Jacks is better. At least he didn't just draw up Guardian Yados. And if I kill that monster and send it to the graveyard, at least I don't have to worry about him summoning that anymore. So I don't know. Yeah. So, when this card is normal summoning, while you control Queen's Knight, I can go ahead and summon Jack's Knight from my deck. It's not, like I said, it's not terrible. No. Uh, I'm, I think I should hold on to the Jack Mission, so I think I'm, right now I'm going to get rid of the Jack, so I'm going to get rid of the... Yeah. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and summon Queen. Because this is like, just target a Dark Magician, I can go ahead and just go into like Dark Paladin or... Or whatever, Magician Girl. Yeah, Amulet Dragon. So that's something, you know, with, uh, with, uh, Ayatomius. It's just I gotta control the fucking shit. Alright, well, clearly didn't attack over that. It'd be nice if I could keep my Queen's Knight, because if the Queen Knight survives, then I can go ahead and summon King's Knight, and King's Knight can go ahead and summon me, never mind. <laughs> never mind. No? No? You're not gonna attack him? Wow, alright. Cool. So, I get to actually pull off this one. Wow, it's just a whole bunch of kings and queens. Alright. So, I do control a queen's knight. When this card is normal summon, you control this queen's knight, you can summon one jack's knight from your deck. Oh no, Yugi! Yugi! Don't tell me that was the only jack's knight in your fucking entire deck, fuck boy. Oh my... Wow. So, let me get this straight. I know you're running Triple King, because I've seen it last duel. It seems like you're running at least two to three queens, and only one jack. So you're running three kings, two queens, one jack? Really? Really? So that one jack that I wanted to summon for my deck, I just got rid of the Grateful Charity? I could've swore you would have three. Like, no, nah, or two. Nah, nah. So, 
I don't know, when this card's not with someone, why you control Queen's Knight, which I do, you spell someone Jack Knight, but he didn't even activate, so that just clearly means that he did not have another, or even attempt to activate, so that means he did not have a fucking, uh, Jack Knight in the deck, that one Jack Knight, that's it, wow, so, some play, some combo, like, I do not like this King, Queen, Jack, I don't like this, I don't like this at all, I've never liked this play, you know, this play fucking sucks dick, no, no, so, oh, I can at least summon, I believe I can summon the Amulet Dragon, yeah, that's Dark Condition, but this one's Dark Condition. Uh, I to Maya, blah blah blah, this card is spell summon target and number, spell card in your graveyard, bam, so if you do, attack. This card destroy, you can target a spell cast around in your graveyard. Okay, so, I mean, it's just, just better just to go and turn Dark Condition into, uh, into the Amulet. It's straight up better, which is fine, because he can go ahead and float back down to the Dark Condition if need be. No. No. So for now, just set the MST, because I have a feeling that he'll probably go ahead and start equipping and trying to get over me that way. That, just, wow, wow, I don't, I don't like this deck. At least this video is longer than yesterday's video. Alright, so go ahead and summon Amulet Dragon. Amulet Dragon can go ahead and, uh banish a couple of these spell cards, and at least I can just go ahead and go up and attack. By whopping 400, which, I mean, 33 is still nothing to scoff at, it's still stronger than the attack barrier, but, like, wow, I got Queen's Knight and King's Knight all up in my hand. Uh, is there a reason why I can't attack this one? Oh, okay, so I can't, I can't select it as an attack target, but I can just attack around it and attack him directly, I guess? That'd be really weird that I can't select him as an attack target and it's like, then who the fuck do I attack, you know? So this is in the graveyard, you can't summon Guardian of the Autos, uh, whatever her name is anymore. So that's pretty good. I didn't even read that Guardian bitch. No, oh my god, MST, no. Change the battle position of all face up monsters on the field. Okay, so I mean, I guess I could just go ahead and change uh, his monster to attack mode. Attacker, but that, that doesn't seem necessary right now. For now, you know, just see how this works if I think it's how it works. No, stop, damn, and this team, holy shit. Okay, sure. And, uh,. Attack directly? Yep. It goes right past and hits you directly. Hope it was worth it. I don't see how, but alright. Alright. So, at least this duel's going much better than last time. Just like I said, I can go ahead and try this King's Knight again, because, I mean, I'm going on the offensive anyway. Oh, Bristol Cherry. Nice. But wow, Yugi, like... Like, really? Terrible deck building. Terrible. It's not how you build a deck. Wow, yeah, so, yep, yep, look at that. Get rid of this shit. And get rid of him, because I'm not even fucking playing him. Alright, so, like I said, if, maybe I fucked it up last time? Maybe? No, doesn't seem like he's the one that activates. Like, these two are activating, so it doesn't look like it. Like, wow, terrible, terrible deck building. Great, I got another MST. But like I said, MST, it'll definitely be great in uh, this duel. Pop his uh, his equip spells. But like I said, I can just go ahead and hit him directly. So, I don't even need to deal with her. Like, what's the point of having all that junk? I mean, I guess when you attack and you flip her up, but... You know, it's like, I have 18 booty, but you can just attack right past me. You can't select me as an attack target. So, you know, I'm gonna be on the field. You can't kill me by battle, but you can just go ahead and hop over and step over me and fucking hit my, my duelist in the face. Like, alright. So, yeah, this would be a perfect time to have fucking cowboy. Now watch him come back. Like, wow. I said, three kings. Three kings in this duel. We did. Last duel, three, we drew all three kings. This duel, we drew all three kings. Yeah. I've, I've seen at least two queens. At least two queens. Yeah? One deck. One fucking deck. Like, wow. So if you draw that one jack, you're not even doing the combo. The whole point of this fucking shit. The whole point of this fucking shit. And we're not even doing the fucking play? Like, come on. Come on. You know? I might as well activate Monster Born and summon the fucking jack just so I could be, be like, hey, I actually 
I actually summoned the fucking royal family, you know? Like, wow. It's fucking just terrible. Terrible deck building. Like, I don't even know why you would run this engine, and even if you would, like, why? Like, I wouldn't even fucking risk it. Like, oh, yep, 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 I drew that one jack, so I guess I'm not doing the fucking combo anymore. I forget. It'd be cool if they actually made, like, the, the Joker a contact fusion, but nope. Yeah, at least we won. Dark said you lies. In a moment of weakness, you allowed your heart to be consumed by d the dark magic of the Orikappas. But I could tell the, the real you was still in there, fighting to break free. I knew I, what I had to do, force you to face the darkness. You're right. Thank you. I get it now. Everyone I turn, I turn my back on is still here, and they'll always be with me. Hey, the seal is gone. Where'd it go? Doesn't, doesn't it usually put a big green laser shot? Okay. <laughs> yeah, and it usually takes someone's soul too. So how are you still here? I'm lost. I have a theory, and the theory is that I lost to him in the first duel, so that means that I didn't lose my soul, so in the rematch, he didn't lose his soul either. I think that's only fair, because if I lost my soul, the show would be over, because I'm the main character. <laughs> the Zero Echoes is, a, is powered by the darkness within the person who plays it, but Raphael was able to conquer that darkness. So my soul is spared? I'm free? Okay, sure, because why not? I don't remember that in the show, but I'm guessing he rem I'm assuming he rematches him, because in the first duel, I believe Yugi duel. Uh, Yugi loses, but hey. Alright, so, there we go. We're done with that. That was actually kind of a little bit more irritating than I thought I said. That fucking terrible, terrible deck building just kind of almost fucked me over, but hey. Hey, at least we drew multiple graceful charities, right? So, hey. So, uh, next Saturday, like I said, we're going to be doing this duel right here. A duel with darts, wrapping this up. And then the Sunday after that, we're just going to be going ahead and doing all of these reverse duels. All of these reverse duels in one big old video. Alright? And then hopefully that will consider 100% done with Duel Monster Series. Which means that after that, the week after that, uh, you get to Draft League Season 2. will be uh, I'll be uploading round 2 videos. So look forward to that. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Thank you guys for continuing to support me when life is so hectic. Uh, I can still just go ahead and upload content for you guys. So uh, thanks for supporting me. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe button, bell for notifications. And uh, yeah, look forward to uh, next weekend with Legacy like, of the Duels. It should be fun. And then after that, you go to your draft league season two. All right. Thanks for watching, people.